All right, I'm super bored, so I'm going to show you how to make your desktop look fucking awesome. So, uh, first thing you're going to want is desktop, or this zip file, <laughs> this zip file, it's called desktop, and uh, it'll be in the description, so once you download that, just follow along. Okay, extract them all, or extract, extract the zip file, and first thing you want is Rocket Doc. Go in there, go to graffiti, right click on uh, wallpaper, set as desktop background. Now, this bothers me, the icon doesn't show up, so I'm going to make it show up. If it doesn't bother you, then good for you, but it bothers me. So stretch, see, it lines up with the taskbar, so I'm fine with that. Now, you might as well change the window color, change it to black or whatever color you want. And I'm going to change my mouse pointer, because goes along with the theme, let's see, black, extra large, that's how I like it, big and black, nice, let's see, uh, go back into your Rocket Doc folder, I have two of those now, huh, okay, now, run the Rocket Doc setup, okay, okay, next, oh, accept, next, 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 install, Bada bing bada boom finish. Now um go to your C drive, program files, scroll down to Rocket Doc, open it on the left pane, right click favorites, add current location to favorites. Now this is on Windows 7. If you're running it somewhere else, you might want to save Rocket Doc folder as a shortcut somewhere, maybe on your desktop somewhere. I don't know. Just save it because it's gonna come in handy if you want to change your dock. You'll see what I mean. All right. Um, move this over. Okay, cool. Um, what's next? We're gonna want to go back into the Rocket Doc folder. It'll be good to have these two folders open. So let's see. Take your stack docklet. Put it in the docklets folder. Continue. Go into the graffiti folder. Take this graffiti folder and put it into the skins folder of your rocket doc folder and then take winphone 7 folder put it into the icons folder okay go into your icons folder for a moment these are all the default icons that come with rocket docs if you don't want them get rid of them if you do want them then whatever good for you but i'm getting rid of them because i hate them continue boom okay um let's see now it's time to run rocket doc go to your start menu it should be there already if it's not just type in rocket doc look for it boom oh a bunch of question marks now these were supposed to be the default icons the ones that i just deleted so that's why they're question marks if you didn't delete them they should be right there but I deleted them because I hate them so I'm getting rid of them alright and this should be the recycle bin alright here's how you change an icon icon settings and uh, all your icons should be here here's the subfolders and the icons show up boom okay it's recycle bin for the recycle bin there's two set little two set icons One's empty, one's full. So, for the empty recycle bin, you choose that one. Just scroll down. They're alphabetical, so scroll down to recycle bin, or click and click uh, type R, and then you get there. And then switch to full recycle bin and choose this icon. Press OK. Since I have something in there, you can right click on it. Empty recycle bin. Yes. Boom. It goes back to the empty recycle bin. Sweet, huh? All right. So to change the the skin the theme go to style under theme change that to graffiti boom nice huh okay press ok now this is supposed to be stretched out over the wallpaper so it matches but you need more icons so I showed you how to remove one you just drag and drop but 
I'm not letting go of my recycle bin. I'm going to put you torrent. I'm going to put Cam the thing I record with. I'm going to put iTunes. And whatever, but I'll get right back to you guys. I'm going to change these icons to look like this one. All right, so it looks like this. Now, if you noticed, I put in separators. To do that, just right click add item separator now for me I don't like how the separators look I want them to be invisible so to do that go to your rocket dock folder go to skins where is blank go into the blank folder copy separator let's see copy go back go into your graffiti folder and paste copy and replace okay and you want to quit this and click rocket dock boom no separator awesome now if you want to get rid of the words under the icons go to icons in dock settings when you right click the dock and no not icons my bad my bad it's style disable icon labels boom there you go now you can adjust the zoom of the icons or how big the icons are. Now here's a zoom wait zoom width I'll make that four, but here's a zoom wham and meh meh. Okay, I'm gonna make mine like twenty-five. Yeah, that looks fine. So you can adjust if you want it to the left or to the right mine's gonna be dead center um... you can have your dock to the right or the left or the bottom and I have mine to the top because it's gonna match with the wallpaper and this is the layering so always on bottom meaning it's gonna be on the bottom of any window that pops up over your desktop or always on top it'll be on top of um, let's see this window, see? Just never the dock settings window. <laughs> Cause he's that G. I'm making mine always on bottom, so yeah. Okay. Now if you remember the stack stocklet thing we made, like copy it into the other folder. Okay, add item, stack docklet, boom. Um this will be like a little folder that pops up like in Mac so I'll show you what I mean um, let's see icon settings look for a path like a folder with documents or a folder with uh, apps or whatever so I have this folder with my um, Microsoft Office stuff so let's see M here Microsoft Office and okay so look, wham, just like in the Mac. <laughs> Let me add a separator. And I'm going to add one more thing for class. Let's see, add item, stack docklet, add separator. And I mean like literally for class. I go to school and I need this. So let's see, where's my E drive? Computer E documents. Okay. Okay. iPhone seven. No, don't worry. Take your time. Not. Okay. Boom. Ah, I forgot to change one more thing. Change this to grid. Wham. Looks nice, huh? So now you notice how this kind of matches up with that I'm gonna change it just a little bit so let's see the offset that'll be right here and make it a little bigger it's fine okay now we're done with rocket dock looks beautiful wham wham iTunes just to prove that it works nice Okay, 
Now you want to go into your rain meter folder and run the rain meter setup. Okay. Next. Next. Yes. Install. Yeah, sure, run. Alright, when you get rain meter, it comes with this whole skin pack. What you want to do is right click unload skin, right click unload skin. I don't know how to fully unload a whole skin. You can ask Google or something, I don't know. But that's the only way I know. I'm sorry. But yeah, go back into the rain meter folder. Run, let's see, run corner calendar, install. That's what it is. Just set it off to this corner for a sec. Run corner clock. Should be up here. Oh, and drag it down here. And if you're a uTorrent user, you might want this. If you don't use uTorrent at all, just, I don't know, you might not want to have it. So, yeah. Open your color chart. That's for later preference. I'm going to minimize this for now. Alright, now click on the clock. Go to divider. Type in 7 instead of that 3. So it's 1.7. Ooh, this ain't clock. That is, this is the calendar, so set it to 1 and get out of there. Okay. Click on the clock now. Okay, now set this one to 1.7. Set. Okay. Now set the divider, no, not the divider, angle. Okay, set the angle to 90 that way it's over here and set your corner calendar angle to 90 as well boom now they're right over each other and take this put it up there okay now I'm gonna make these colors match up with this but if you don't want these colors, you can mess around. I have a color chart in there. There's more on the internet, but this is a basic chart. So I'll show you the first colors to calendar. This one's the normal text. It's I'm changing it to white. Three, four, five, six. Now you notice it's not really white, but that's because it's dimmed down. It's um not really it's really transparent. So to change that, change alpha 1 to 300, and it's not transparent anymore. Long time no see. <laughs> Alright, let me answer that, I'll get back to you guys. Okay, my bad. So, if you noticed in the zip file, I have this text document called desk. I think I mentioned that already, I don't remember. But this is just all the things... I had before I uninstalled everything so be on a fresh start with you guys okay 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 all right so this is red that's the p.m. thing okay that's right red FF I thought it was CC whatever I don't care let's see highlighted text of calendar normal text that'll be Orange, so FF six six zero zero. See, orange, and you type that in here. Set. <sighs> no, it was supposed to be the other one, but the color's right. Okay, all black is all zeros, six times. So FF six six zero zero. My bad. Boom, orange. Okay, we're done with the clock. All right, over to here. Highlighted year, yellow, FFF33. Now, like I said, if you want to do your own color scheme, that's fine with me. Um, just, yeah. Highlighted weekday is green. 
6-0-0-6-6-0-0 set. That green's pretty ugly, but whatever. And blue. Let's see. 0 0 6 6 ff Nice. And the last one I had white. Okay, now for all the colors. Two, three, four, five, six, black. There we go. Looks pretty nice. Okay, now this is for the uTorrent users. If you don't use uTorrent, then skip forward a little bit, I guess, until you find the start over part. But I'm gonna go into uTorrent. Okay, what you're gonna want to do is go into options, preferences, go into advanced, scroll down. Now, web UI token that has to be false. If it's on true, click false. Now open the advanced, go to web UI, make up a username and a password. Um, I already made one up in here. Click alternative listing port and that should be 8081 okay click OK now right click on the torrent thing edit skin scroll down just a little bit now change this part Curtis make sure it's the same as what you put in your uTorrent or vice versa if you started in here for file 8081 now you want to get rid of this unless you're running a 64-bit computer then just keep that I don't know so um, yeah save exit I'm gonna run you torn again open my browser once it decides to open up Let's see torrent cat Is it good? Cam print, not bad, the best one so far. You know what? Sure, we'll get it. Okay. Um, press OK. Exit. Exit. Uh, you sure? Alright, I'm gonna try exiting rain meter. And I'm gonna run it again. Okay, it's working. I don't. Oh, there it is. Boom. So I had it right the first time, you just had to exit rain meter. So yeah. Exit rain meter, exit uTorrent, and then run them again, it'll show up. Play. Okay. Trackers. Whatever. I'm saying about this. So anyways, see that's running? It's pretty neat for uh uTorrent. Okay, we're done with rain meter now. Okay, go to start orb. Start orb changer. Yes. Dun 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 dun. Change. Now change the folder. Let's go to desktop. Go into the start orb folder and the start orbs. Um, just pick out of these now if you want my whole folder ask me for it because I'm not gonna post up my whole folder of icons that's a lot of crap and I, I just handpick them if you like these then yeah but there's a whole bunch more if you want it just ask for it but I'm going with this one and boom alright now if you get this like it says it's a virus it's saying that because it's changing um, a registry within your uh, well yeah registry it's changing um, a value and it's saying like it's a trojan because it's going into your registry and changing something but don't worry about it just allow it or whatever your uh, antivirus program says it's perfectly safe I've had this for like a year now it's fine um let's see 
Mm. I just want to move this up. You know what? Okay. Personalize. I'm going to get rid of the recycle bin. Let's see. Desktop icons. Recycle bin. Apply. Okay. Now I'm going to get rid of all this crap. Delete. Yes. Okay. Now you have this really neat desktop. <laughs> now if you really want to go all out, you can download this Windows 7 Logon Background Changer. I have that in one of my videos. And this is what it looks like. That's what it looks like when I log in. Comes into this, type in password, and you get to see this nice wallpaper for that chick and stuff. Just look for a wallpaper and choose a folder, find where it is, and bada bing bada boom. See, I can change it to that. That. This. This. It's pretty fast. So, yeah. Please like this video, subscribe, favorite, whatever, all that good stuff. Thanks for watching.